Hello, welcome to 11 Teen Bean to Bars. Um, Mother's Day bonbons. This is, I promise you, the last um, of the Mother's Day bonbons. I know I've done a ton of videos on them. Um, these ones here I just did this morning. Um, another batch of blueberry ganache. Um, but this one here is something special and something different and something I haven't done before. So I'm pretty excited to start. And that noise in the background, I'm really excited today because that noise is my new melange running. So I'm just cleaning all it all up. It's brand brand new. So I'm just running some sugar through it for 20 minutes. And then I'll be able to start making chocolate, um, more chocolate, I guess, because it's going to run and hopefully I don't have any problems with it. So right now I'm just kind of drying out this mold. I just cleaned it. Um, I'm going to use some rubbing alcohol to go into the mold. Just gonna put a little bit in and rub it around. Sorry, that's a strange noise. Um, um, just a little bit. And I will go through um, with just a dry one after. Just to ensure that I'm getting every little bit, because there was some dye. Um, from these ones here and there might be still some left and these ones are going to be very very special I'm excited to show you what I'm gonna do I haven't done this before so um, it may turn out to be a complete flop I just finished doing some dark chocolate 77% dark so I have it here Sugar's making a lot of noise running through that melanger, so it's kind of scaring me, but it's all good. So just wiping all this out, try to make sure that I don't have any leftover stuff in there. So excited to try this out. And if they are a success, I'm hoping some moms can watch me make them for them if they are lucky enough to get these, if they turn out. All right, now clean, dry. I'm just gonna wipe real quick just to done. This is also going to ensure that, um, that they're shiny. These bonbons are beautifully shiny. The molds were nice and clean. I don't want any residue of any kind left behind. So they unmold nicely. All that water you see is on the underneath because I did wash them um, after I did all that. So I washed them out. So should be good. I don't see any residue of anything left behind. So I think we're good. All right. Almost done. And then we can start the fun part. Before we do the fun part, I'm going to just stir this chocolate. A dark chocolate tends to be a lot runnier than the others because there's nothing but uh, the cocoa beans and uh, cocoa butter and a little bit of sugar. This is 77% dark, so not a lot of sugar in here, um, but see how nice and smooth that is? It ran a long time in that melanger, so it is nice and smooth. Okay, now for the fun part. So I bought some carnations, and they are, the petals are edible. So I'm going to pick the petals off, and I'm going to put them in here, and then we're going to pour the chocolate on top. So my hope is that the chocolate won't go all the way and bury the petals. So when you flip it over, you have something that resembles a flower um, with the chocolate on the bottom. They're totally edible, so I'm hoping they turn out nice. Um, and I haven't quite figured out yet how I'm going to do this, but I know I'm going to do it somehow. So we're going to peel off some petals and see what happens. I think it'll be kind of a fun, unique little thing for a mom. Since 
it's hard to buy. Some moms are harder to buy for than others, but it would be kind of nice to have something that mom hasn't seen or had before. And if they like dark chocolate, then they're at least getting something else. Cause some people, you know, milk chocolate and you can add a whole bunch of stuff, but this one is healthy. Um, I'm not adding any ingredients that aren't good. So I think that's probably good enough. I'm hoping. Just gonna stick that right in there like that. And I'm going to um, actually clip this. I don't think we need all that extra. And I wasn't sure how tall it would be, but they can't stick up. So I'm gonna have to push them down. And the weight of the chocolate will push them down as well. So there's one. Let's do a red one next. I think it's kind of fun. Let's do something like that for a mama. As a matter of fact, I think this is what my mom is gonna get for Mother's Day if they turn out. And these carnations smell really good. I mean, I'm sure everybody knows how nice they smell. They're so fresh. And just that nice, I don't know, fresh fragrance, I guess. That's kind of cool. I do want the petals to kind of be sticking down so that it looks something like a flower. I don't know. I have no idea how these are going to turn out. I haven't seen any videos on these, so it's not like I got an idea from watching. I did see a video once of some petals, um, but they had caged them. So they had um, some cocoa butter mixed with some color, I think, and they did like lines across. And then they put some petals, just a few petals randomly, and then did the chocolate on top. But this one here, I'm actually just doing like a whole lot in there. So, um, I don't know. I guess we'll see what happens. And I'm not afraid to experiment. I'm not afraid to try and I'm not afraid to fail. Because if you don't try, how are you gonna learn? And failing is just part of life, right? Melanger can almost shut off soon. I, it says run for 20 minutes, so don't think it'll be much longer. No, I can shut it off. Um, I may not have enough petals to do the whole thing. super excited to try it. I think it's something pretty unique and exciting. Oh, these are really pretty. These are the pink and white ones. That makes sense. I am using a lot. I don't know if I'm using too much, um, but I, I do want the flower to be the focal point and tomorrow's Mother's Day and tomorrow's the market and I know that these the petals will still be good tomorrow. So that's why I didn't do them um, any other day. Um, I wanted them to be as fresh as possible. I did have a market yesterday but I decided not to do these because I wanted them fresh for the specific Mother's Day market. So everything's clean and sanitized. My hands have been cleaned and I want to make sure that that is well. All right. Kind of want to 
want them all facing the same way so that we don't have any of the white sticking up, although I'm not sure that I can get perfect in that. We're certainly going to get as close to perfect as we can. Alright, that one's good. Here's another red one. This is kind of a pinkish red. And then I do have a red red, which I haven't put out yet, so. Now that I've done a few, it's a little bit easier to peel them off now. So a fray. These white ones are a lot thicker. hoping there's some moms that like the taste of flower petals. I don't know. Um, I will be brave and try one just because I'm making them and selling them. Um, I should be able to taste test them. And too, when I pour the chocolate in, it'll help if they're all kind of all over the place. And then the chocolate will um, fold to them. So they'll be less likely to fall out and be all over the place. Um, let's do. Oh, this one's so. Oh, petal that fell. I think. No. Oh yeah, there's two petals that fell. That's a pretty, pretty color. Now, once I get down. Um, to the nitty gritty, then I'm going to start pulling multiple colors. And do some pure white. Um, this would also be really fun to do with like a white chocolate and then add some color to it. Like a green for the stem almost. Um, another thing too that I just thought of is getting some sticks. Then we could actually do them like have the green chocolate poured over top and then put the sticks in. So then we pull it out, it actually is a flower on us but of course hindsight, right? That I'm thinking about it a little bit late into it. Um, but for now, I'm just doing bonbons. This is kind of my focus. Um, and hopefully this will be like the future of my business. Bonbons, lots and lots of bonbons. So um, I'm not doing actually a ton of these. It doesn't look like I'm gonna have. I might, still hope. But if not, I'm not overly concerned. Um, I only have one Mother's Day market to do, and I don't want to have a whole pile of these all left over um, because I won't be able to sell them um, while they're flowers. So definitely don't want them. And the petals stay good for a long time. It's not like they're gonna go bad in a day. But certainly by Monday, I'm not too confident that they would be. I'm not even going to put that one up. They look a little bit different. But by Monday, Tuesday, I'm not, I'm not thinking they would be very viable. Yeah. But certainly, um, Sunday, they'll be great. I think they'll still be nice. And fresh looking on Sunday. I actually did an experiment, in, not with chocolate, but just um, pulling these out and seeing how long the petals actually last out of water. And four days, five days in, and they still look good. So 
Um, I'm not anticipating there to be any issues with these. I don't know when she's soaking in chocolate or what's not going on. I'm just going to check on this Melander quickly. Ground up that sugar pretty good, so I think we're on a winning streak. Well, that is working so far. I'm just gonna let it run for a few more minutes and then I can shut off and we can have some peace and quiet for a little while. I have been neglecting to stir my chocolate, so I'm hoping that we're not getting tempered already. Um, I love that it's so very smooth. Smells very good. I have another container. I have more of it here. I have a lot of this, um, but I figured this was probably going to be enough to do that. So I kind of want to temper separate. If I find if I pour it out into a smaller container, it'll temper faster than the one in the big container and it'll buy me some time because I do have to get some molds prepared. I'm going to do some uh, Bailey's Colada Ganache. So once I'm done this, uh, then I will go ahead and get my molds ready. Well, they're almost ready. Um, so uh, I just need to, you know, buy myself a little bit of time here to do as much as I can at once. And it was a busy day at the market yesterday, so I kind of want to take a bit of a breather this evening. Um, I don't want to be working tonight. So I try to get as much done today as I can. Um, I did quite a bit this morning. I did those blueberry ganache. I also did some, I'll have to show you what I did. I didn't get my camera on, unfortunately, so it would have been nice to film some of this experimenting. Today seems to be an experimenting day. I'll show you what I did. So I got a new mold and I thought I'd give it a try. I also bought some um, acetate um, labels. Well, labels kind of like transfers. So as you can see, I tried a couple um, and they actually turned out pretty good, except this mold isn't going to work very well for them, especially for these ones. So, um, but it worked out very well. This, it stayed on the chocolate, which was nice. So these are almond coconut um, squares. So I think they turned out okay. Not the greatest. There's some lines in there, but I do like how these turned out. So I will do those again at some point. So right now, let's get these these flowers in. I'm gonna I'm gonna just cut her short for now, um, and then we'll come back when we're chocolate's tempered. We're ready to pour.